Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Happy Tuesday out there, everybody. Well, today we're doing a walk and talk episode, as usual. I'm actually on my way to Walmart. I gotta return this, all right? So I just figured, you know what? I might as well just see if I can film at least a little bit of the process. Um, so we have a lot to talk about today. Um, so, you know, that's why I'm starting off a little early here. It's uh, like 10.30 in the morning. It's already a gazillion degrees of heat. August fucking sucks no matter where the hell you are. So, it's hot. So, all right, that's the weather update. And there's a lot of bugs. In fact, so many bugs that I broke. So this racket that I just showed you right there, that's what I use in order to kill bugs. It's like you plug it into the wall and, and it's like a electric field and then you just go around bzz, 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 just killing fucking bugs with it. It's amazing. But like I said, I broke mine. I bought this new one last week on Friday and it was already broken. I just didn't really have time to come go return it. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna do a little walk and talk. Now, today's walk and talk is gonna be a little different. We're not gonna be necessarily talking about Mexico. We're gonna be talking about a lot of other stuff. You know, there's too many things going on, especially on the world stage, day-to-day -day events, uh, just a lot of craziness going on. So, um, honestly, okay, so today's Monday morning, and I'm filming this on Monday morning, and I'm gonna be uploading this tomorrow so that you guys can see it on Tuesday, when you guys wake up Tuesday morning. Now, I already have a video for tomorrow, and I'm just gonna push it back, because it was just one talking about Merida and all the cool stuff out here, but, um, there's just a lot of things that happened this weekend. A lot of things has been going on, period. And um, I just feel like I wanted to cover it. See, I was a little distracted. I don't know if I locked it correctly. But it's okay. But, so yeah, you know, I don't know if you guys are aware. I think a lot of you guys are aware of what happened this weekend uh, with um, those mass shootings and stuff like that. I'm not going to be talking about that here for a billion obvious reasons. You know, we don't want YouTube to... You know get the fucking wrong idea like they always do so <clears throat> we're not going to be talking about that in fact we're going to be talking about something completely different but related to that we're going to be talking about all the fucking other things that are happening around the world literally because there's just so many things that are happening around the world and uh no one's no one's paying attention to them and uh you know the reason that most people are not paying attention to them is because um, it's not in the mainstream news, it's not in the mainstream media, it's not part of their everyday, you know, um, news. Um, so most people have no idea what the hell's going on. And then, you know, when somebody, you know, let's say you're at work right now and somebody tells you, hey, did you hear about what's happening in Hong Kong? And people are like, why? Who cares about that right now? Nobody cares about the Hong Kong thing. There was just like a, a, a big mass shooting in pick a place. And so, you know, that, that's what now, you know, when, when, when I or others say controlling the narrative, these are the things that we're talking about. You know, this is the controlling the narrative aspect to all this stuff, you know? The fact that um, even, even if you want to talk about other things that are happening around the world, um, well, you kind of can't because, you know, there's other things to be talking about. I was talking to my aunt this morning and literally... You know, Shirty knows, man, it's windy all of a sudden, man. It's a lot of wind. Anyway, Shirty knows the things I, sorry, I was scratching something there. <laughs> Shirty, Shirty knows all the things that I talk about and all the things that I'm always, uh, you know, bringing up and all that shit. Um, but yet, you know what I mean? Like as soon as she saw those uh, events that happened this weekend, you know, she was already also brainwashed. You know what I mean? Just like a lot of people are, you know, most people are, unfortunately. And that's just the reality of it. So, today, today we're going to be discussing all the other things, we're going to be discussing all the other things that are happening around the world right now, and, um, and kind of put things into perspective, because again, you know, when I saw the news over the weekend of, as to what happened, um, with the shootings and stuff like that to me, I was already thinking about something completely different I was already thinking like yeah, of course, you know, what I mean like uh, There's a lot of things going on So they need to make sure that people are not paying in, uh, paying attention to those things So, you know right off the bat, you know one of the things that is going on 
is uh, the economy is tanking right in front of our eyes. Not just the US economy, but the world economy. All right. You know, something we've been talking about on this channel and many other channels for a long time now. You know, kind of like anticipating. Ow, man, fucking hurt myself there. Anyway, anticipating, uh, you know, this economic downturn and uh, things are, they seem to be, you know, accelerating at a massive pace. And there's things happening all over the world. Um, not, you know, they have to do with the economy and don't have to do with the economy. Let's talk about Hong Kong for a minute. Because, you know, I just mentioned that a little while ago. Does anyone even know what the hell's happening in Hong Kong? Well, okay, you know, just a little refresher on what the hell's happening in Hong Kong. So, for, for those of you guys that have, have no idea, you know, Hong Kong is part of China. But they're not part of China. You know, um, because of a lot of... Uh, you know, past history, even though Hong Kong is part of China, they themselves are not run or ruled by the communist, uh, you know, party or communist regime or communist anything. In fact, you know, they're like a little piece of China, in China, um, and uh, they are very democratic. They're very like the West. So all of a sudden, like about a month ago, you know, China says, hey, you know, we're going to start extraditing people that we think are um, criminals or a problem that have escaped to Hong Kong. So we're going to go and we're going to, you know, uh, pass this law so that we can go into Hong Kong and just take out whoever we want. So when that happened, you know, pretty much all of Hong Kong was uh, pretty upset. And so they went to the streets and they've been protesting for over a month. And the protests have only gotten worse and worse and worse to the point now where as we speak the Chinese military is uh, taking over Hong Kong so you know real soon Hong Kong might not be um, what we know it and um, by the end of the year that's it Hong Kong will probably disappear and what do I mean by that meaning that it's like um, if you're gonna go visit Hong Kong it's like visiting the rest of China um, all the awesome things about Hong Kong are gone and so that's basically it that's basically what's happening there that they're literally just you know on the borders of hong kong right now and not in the borders they're already you know going in there and things are changing all the time you know um by the time tomorrow comes along by the time by the time that a lot of these other by the time that a lot of sorry, I got a little distracted there. But yeah, but anyways, by, by the time that you're you're watching this and as the days go on, you know things are extremely getting escalated. And um, again, you know, just like the whole idea of what Hong Kong was and used to be is uh, something that's going to be very non-existent very very soon. So you know, I, I don't want to you know d dive too deep into this because you know there's like a lot of things to talk about, but. You know, right now, Hong Kong is losing its sovereignty. Hong Kong is not going to be ever the same again. Hong Kong, you know, for those of you guys out there that follow me on the crypto side, you know, box mining lives on Hong Kong. Um, there's a lot of uh, individuals that we follow that are part of uh, our community, whether it's crypto or others, that um, are, gonna, are severely being affected by this trade is going to be affected by this so many things are going to be affected by this you know on a world stage it's a major 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 thing that nobody is really talking about much i think i'm gonna walk a little more but anyway so that that's happening you know there um what else is happening well we already know what's happening in venezuela or oh, wait do we well venezuela very quietly is uh rising from um, the pit that it has been in for a while now and you know the economic pit of fucking horribleness that the US sanctions and uh, the whole economic war has caused uh, Venezuela but again that's not what we're here that's not what we you know we're not here to talk about politics in that sense we're just talking about the fact that you know Venezuela is rising up and they're you know they are all of a sudden you know being able to um you know they're just they're surviving this shit you know what i mean they're surviving this whole insanity um you know what's happening in argentina 
um, with the economy as well. The economy in Argentina is just as bad or worse um, as uh, ow, as in uh, Venezuela. But yet, you're not hearing anything about it. In fact, you're not going to hear anything about it because, again, we've talked about this many times. The reason you don't hear about what's happening in Argentina is because the central banks run that economy. And Venezuela, again, they're not run by the central banks. And they themselves are you know putting in their own banking their own central everything and uh, trying to run that country sovereign and uh, independent from everybody else and that's the problem you know because the banks don't want that they can't have that um, what's happening with McGaffey you know Mr. McGaffey just like a lot of other people like Julian Assange which we're gonna cover in a second now you know a lot of these other individuals you know they're they're getting hunted down like dogs you know all across the fucking world right now which is insane and um you know unfortunately for fortunately and unfortunately you know for mr mcgaffey you know not only did he you know get arrested and have to go through a lot of uh you know horrible situations because of the u.s government um you know wanting to stick him with the crime but now he's has gotten to the point where he's been able to you know, liberate himself and come out of that, you know, without a fucking problem. All right, music, hold on, guys. Yeah, sorry about that, um, the music. So, yeah, so like I was saying, so now, you know, the, the whole McGaffey thing, you know, he's gotten to the point where he's like even more paranoid than usual and built himself a room in which, uh, what is it, aluminum room? So, you know, how people have aluminum hats on their head. Well, he built himself an aluminum room so that they can't get in and no one can nothing can get out whatever anyways the point is that that's happening with him forget McGaffey for a minute um let's talk about Julian Assange because I just uh, read this yesterday I think it was or whatever I don't know a couple of days ago I don't know when it was but I read this very very recently but when it comes to Julian Assange guess what it seems like uh they dropped all the charges and it's not that they dropped the charges I think it's like the federal court I'm not quite sure I'm gonna see if I can find the information out there and uh, talk about it a little bit more in depth, but it seems like the U.S. government um, already came out with. Um, seems like the U.S. government already came out. Um, the federal courts or the court system that is going to be handling that situation um, have come out and said that nothing that Julian Assange did was illegal. So, seems like we've already gone through that. Remember when we were talking about all the things that you know could be the reason as to why um they arrested assange and they're going after assange and all that things and all those things so now it seems to be like some of these things are playing out meaning that um the whole thing with assange you know them arresting assange wasn't like to go after him in the sense of what we thought you know going after him but more um you know going after freedom of speech going after you know um you know everything that he was doing with wikileaks but no it really it seems like the reason that they were going after him was so that they can uh, prove that what he was doing was totally legal so which is something that i was talking about and i was bringing up you know in my conspiracy whatever that that's basically it you know basically what they were doing with assange was uh they just wanted to you know capture him arrest him put him through the ringer but only you know again he's a marty a martyr but to even to take that martyrdom even further to the point where you know what i mean like yeah you know he's uh everything he you know after going through the courts it seems like yeah of course everything he did and was doing was 100 percent legal and there was nothing uh there was nothing illegal to what he was doing as we all know he was just doing journalism and because he was being a journalist that's what caused um you know um them to come after him so hard because you know of uh, the exact journalism he was doing which was you know exposing a lot of uh, bad actors all around the world through wikileaks and all that shit so you know that's happening but have you heard anything about what's happening to assange absolutely not um what about what's happening in other parts of the world you know what's happening right now let's see what other country can we choose to talk about right now we already brought up China. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to... Um, let's go to Europe now. We haven't talked about Europe. What's happening in England? In London? In London? You know, with uh, the whole um, Mr. Boris Yeltsin. <laughs> Boris Yeltsin. Boris, whatever the fuck his name is, you know? Getting elected. People protesting in London again. And again. 
um, people protesting in London due to this. Not again. <laughs> um, but somewhere where they were, they are protesting again is uh, in Paris, in France. In fact, how long have they been protesting? It's been so fucking long, I've already lost track. But it's, it, it, at any point now, we might be hitting a year. We're getting close to a year now of France, the country of France protesting literally almost every day, every weekend, every chance they get against Macron, against uh, neoliberalism, against ev all these things that are happening right now. So again, you know, you barely hear about the yellow vest, you barely hear about France, you're barely hearing about that. You definitely didn't hear about fucking Julian Assange. You definitely probably haven't even heard about Hong Kong or what's really happening in Hong Kong. Um, I know most of you guys have no idea what the hell is happening in Argentina. Some of you guys know about Venezuela, but not much. Let's move it down to Mexico for a minute. So now, one of the things I was reading earlier this morning was the fact that like, um, you know, like the Mexican president and the people that are representing representing Mexico and the US, the ambassador or whatever the hell, um, you know, they were already, you know, talking down on the US over the shootings, uh, what happened in El Paso, you know what I mean? So like, you know, all this is part of that agenda. You know, the Mexican uh, people are now all of a sudden saying, hey, you know, here's another reason to get the fuck out of the US before they even deport you. Just get the fuck out and come back home and uh, everything is awesomer here. You'll be better here and we'll do anything humanly possible in order to make that transition and all that um, easy, you know, facilitate that for you. So as, uh, you know, the whole thing with uh, what happened in Texas, you know, again, they could be trying to push an agenda, trying to get even, remember, Mexico and the U.S., even though they're apart, they're not apart. They're all part of the same, you know, um, NWO uh, wrestling team type of shit. So... You know, they all want their agenda and they all like pick a side, you know, bad cop, good cop. And they all just brainwash, you know, the people, how they need to brainwash them in order to get what they need to get um, through. You know what I mean? Whether it's, um, you know, pol political agenda, whether it's immigration, whether it's a monetary policy, whatever. It's all part of the plan. They're all working together in cahoots in order to, uh, to make these things happen. You know, as we already all know, the U.S. is falling apart more and more each day. And uh, your, the neighbors south of the border, a.k.a. Mexico, um, is doing the complete opposite. So, as each day goes on, you know, we're literally seeing um, the reversal of all this. You know, we're seeing, you know, the U.S. falling deeper and deeper down the hole. And we're seeing a country like Mexico and other Latin American countries, just an example of Latin America, you know, moving up, you know, moving on up. All the way to the east side. Actually, no, no side in particular, but that is what's happening. And so, you know, there's like a million gazillion, you know, agendas. A million gazillion things going on on a daily basis um, around the world right now. That we should be, that we should be talking about. That we should be, um, you know, um, putting front and center over you know the things that we are actually talking about you know so again you look at the news and you you know you look at you know you're looking at uh you know rights for you know uh, people that love chairs i'm trying to be as vague as possible you know what i mean you know for chair lovers you know or people that are tree lovers or people that are you know whatever they're all trying to separate everybody they're trying to push an agenda they're trying to get um a lot of these things uh you know that they're trying to con keep continuing to control the narrative so the reason you don't hear about a lot of the things that I was just talking about, plus so many more other real news, uh, you know, uh, real news stories, is because again, you know, they literally inundate the waves, you know, the radio waves, the airwaves, with bull crap. You know what I mean? With bullshit. And I'm not here trying to downplay, you know, what happened uh, over the weekend, you know, the the shootings and stuff like that. But you know, the reality is that. You know, for anyone that's already watching my channel or even going down deep down the rabbit hole, you, we already know exactly what the fuck is going on, what the fuck they're doing. You don't need me to re-explain it to you and um, how easily, you know, they can MK Ultra these motherfuckers or whatever the fuck it is that they do in order to get these things and agendas going. Again, I'm not here downplaying anything like that, but, you know, like I keep repeating, you know, over and over again, you know, can you show me some more evidence on... You know the past ones that happened like a year ago and the year before that you know 
I know that things happen in, you know, in other states and other parts of the country. You know, um, you already know. I'm really, I'm really, really trying to be as vague as possible because me just uttering a word here or there is more than enough to get this thing, you know, put in the toilet and then some. So, again, guys, you know, what this episode's all about is just to give you a quick reminder of what the fuck is really going on all around the world. And then on top of that, for you to fucking remember that, you know, what they are trying to do is to make you and everybody else look at a certain agenda, a certain thing, a certain news story, and forget about the other stuff that's really happening. If you're looking at the shootings or you're looking at whatever other fucking news story that they're giving you, then all of a sudden, you know, when you um, are talking about the economy, it's not important news. When you're talking about, um, you know, what's happening in Hong Kong or another part of the world, is not important news, and so on and so forth. So they are controlling that narrative by telling you and the people what is the important thing that you should be talking about and not you know actually talking about the things that we should be talking about because again right now you know the main topic of discussion that should be being talked about right now on not just mainstream media and the news and and around your water cooler it should be about the economy you know there's a million things to be talking about but right now everyone at work everyone at school everyone everywhere should be talking about the economy but you know, how can you be talking about the economy after such a monstrosity of a tragedy that happened over the weekend, you know? On two different parts of the US by two different, you know, types of people and so on and so forth. So guys, today's episode is just a quick reminder, all right, to keep your eyes, your ears open, to continuously question the narrative, question everything. You question me, question every single fucking thing. Do your own homework, go after it start figuring shit out stop um being complacent to um, a lot of these things that are happening you know because again right now by you not doing anything at all even if you're not spreading the knowledge by you not doing anything at all you're already an accomplice to this 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 ginormous crime against humanity right now so that's why I and others, you know, at the very least, you know, make a fucking video, spread the word, spread the news. You know, we can't shut the fuck up. And why can't we shut the fuck up? Because again, I don't want to be complicit in this, you know, tragedy against humanity. I just don't. All right. I, I think that most of us already are, but we can, you know, take control back and we can have control the narrative and we can do a lot more, you know, things in order to make sure that we are not the victims but instead we are the ones with the power that can actually you know um control the narrative and um and i think that right now more than anything else why i make these videos and more people are making these videos and more and these videos are even more you know more you guys can re, uh, what is it you guys can uh relate to this shit even more is because more and more people are going down that rabbit hole every single day more and more people are getting enlightened more and more people are waking the fuck up more and more people are realizing exactly what the hell's going on and again less and less people are actually believing the actual narrative that they're pushing down our throat and um, it's a beautiful time to be alive I mean especially if you've been a conspiracy theory guy um, anti um, agenda you know anti you know what I mean one of one of these guys you know right now as you're seeing this major change in uh human consciousness around the world it's a beautiful fucking thing it's just uh it's gonna take time it's uh, gonna take a lot of effort and it's not gonna happen overnight but it's happening so again guys start educating yourself start figuring it out start getting on board and start the process to um being part of uh this transition okay don't be left behind all right so guys the mouthful today i had a lot to say a lot to talk about i really hope you enjoyed today's video and um with that being said don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon please check out my website please check out all the links below follow me on discord continue the conversation follow me on instagram follow me everywhere and uh last but not least you know um don't forget to check out the sponsor at the end of the video thanks again for being here and i uh, love you guys and i'll see you guys manana um happy hump day tomorrow tomorrow we're going live on youtube as we do every single wednesday so be there or be uh square all right love you guys peace have a good one look look where we are we're about to enter the best place on earth okay it's not really the best place on earth but hey it's awesome <laughs> i don't want to get into a whole conversation about walmart all right i'm already here i'm gonna cut this thing how do I turn this thing off? Here. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. 
You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.